welcome back. You know, we are going to make some um, little waffle at uh, the restaurant I'm in the kitchen. Um, waffle is a, kind of a big deal for me it's come, since I'm coming from Belgium and you know, waffle is a big thing in Belgium. There's so many ways we do waffle in, back home. I mean, but the recipes we showcase today is really uh, one of probably the most straightforward and the one that's easy to make at home because, you know, a lot of time when you use uh, industrial uh, equipment is kind of challenging, but this one you can have many, many applications for. I'm putting some flour in a mixing bowl. You can add some uh, fresh yeast. Um, you can use some dry yeast if you like, but um, I think fresh yeast so will work a little bit better. We got a couple of yolks. I'm gonna add uh, to the recipes. I like to start with the yolks first, the way you know we avoid to have any lump. And uh, with the milk, it's easy to control to have a nice thick um, paste, you know, like homogen. There, put my two yolks. Whisk all that, you know, nice and smooth. Adding a little bit milk, you know, like probably in a couple of times, just the way we get everything nice. Let's see. You know, add the rest of the milk. Very straightforward recipe, it's really kind of fun to do at home, not complicated. You know, in Belgium, I remember when I was a young person and uh, Coming back from school, I was um, stopping in the store. I just get a little waffle before taking my bus back home. It's kind of a tradition in the middle of the day. A little snack for us back in Europe. You see, and what I want to do is with the dough, just whisk it nice away. We don't have any lump in there because if you leave the lump, it's kind of hard to get rid of it later on. Make sure that yeast is uh, breaking in multiple please. Right? And um, I'm going to whisk my two white with a touch of salt in a little kitchen area. The way you see your white is uh, it's ready, it's when uh, they stick to the bottom of the pan, you know, it's uh, kind of a magnet. I mean, you know, it's no more liquid. You add that to uh, your waffle dough. There, yeah, I like to use a little spatula to be a little more gentle with the dough, to keep it nice and puffy. See, that's perfect. A lot of people like uh, when you do a big batch of that dough, you like to let them set a little bit first to get the bees activated. But when it's a small amount like the recipe is now, I think you can keep going. I got the waffle machine just warm up to, uh, you know, it's a. Uh, like a manager style waffle dough. My spatula there. No, I just need to put a bit butter in the machine just to give it that nice the golden color when you bake. And there, I fill up my little waffle. Kind of from the middle, and the one you're gonna close, you're gonna fill him up the, the iron. Uh, let him go for a couple minutes both sides. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep some uh, my plate with some fruit for presentation. See the pasta, the, the waffle dough, you want it nice and lighter. And really the trick on that recipe is, is to whip the white because that's where you make it puffy and lighter when you eat it and very nice to eat it. We can have a few fruit on the plate because it's kind of a good way to um, eat a waffle I think with some fruit. what they look like. Nice and golden, just the way we like it. You know. Little whipped cream. That looks good already. Couple more fruit. And a pot of sugar to finish the dish. That's kind of the Brussels style waffle 
you know, and you kind of repeat that uh, um, process, you know, again. Nice thing to do, you know, you can always make some before, one and off in the oven for a couple of minutes when, uh, you know, you're ready to use them. And uh, really depending on the form of uh, iron you're using, it will give you the shape of the waffle, you know, if you use a square one or a rectangle one or a round one. I like this one because it's easy to split when you share the waffle. There it is, bon appétit!